Can I ask you, this is this is a different showdown because you're coming in as favourites now, which is a little bit unusual. It hasn't happened for a while. Uh, no, it hasn't happened for a while, and, and I guess um, there's a fair bit on the end of it for both clubs, uh, more than there has been at this time of uh, the year and the last couple of years. So, um, and we understand Adelaide have got a couple of injuries as well. Um, yeah. uh, we're anticipating, obviously, uh, Paddy Dangerfield coming back in and rutting, but um, yeah, outside of that, it's going to be a showdown as per normal, and, and uh, points don't count much to count for much. Yeah. How how do you deal with the, the whole finals expectation and everything else? Do you have to distract them? Do you have to just not talk about it? Or um, Ken, Ken's uh, all year has talked about um, being able to deal with expectation. And, yep. and I guess as they, the boys have performed every week, and, and certainly when you come up against teams like the GWS and Gold Coast, when the expectation is to win, um, I guess in his way, to embrace it. Yep. Um, I mean, I think every week has sort of been similar in a lot of ways uh, as we have won some games and we put ourselves in a position where we're in charge of our own destiny, then the expectation rises, so it's no different this week. You feel that the players have embraced it pretty well though? As we, we don't talk about it. Um, the, the discussion is about how we want to play the game yeah. um, and it's no different this week either. Um, uh, there's, there's obviously a, a bigger build up, we understand it's showdown, um, but we, we have to get our behaviours right in the way we play the game to be able to get the result. Is it hard not to talk about considering the rise that you guys have had this year and the fact that it's almost on the brink of you guys playing um, to, Not really. I, I think that um, we all understand and, and uh, how far the club's come in such a short time. and. Uh, understanding where we've come from, that the improvement is, is about on field um, and the wins will, will come if we do everything right. And, and I guess, you know, it, it's been that, that mantra all, all the way and um, we're not there yet. We've, we've got to keep winning games of football. When did you feel that it clicked for you? Because I remember the pre-season, you, you beat some big teams then, but everybody yeah. thought, oh, well, it's just pre-season. But when did the confidence, was it a gradual thing that you just um, kept building and building? Uh, I think we had a really good pre-season. Yep. Um, the boys are certainly, they're fit and um, uh, they're, they're certainly mentally tougher. Um, yep. A lot of things in the pre-season that, that created that. Um, and you're right, those, the two early games against West Coast and Sydney where we thought that they were out there to win yep. um, and really prepare for the season um, probably gave our group a lot of confidence. Mm. Um, and it sort of rolled on from there. I, I think that um, you know, it's a long season, it feels like a long season yep. and um, our boys have uh, uh, just been going week to week, you know, like building up for each week, um, knowing that there's, uh, there's another tough club in front of us every week and I guess that's, it's been no different this week. Mm. Have you been, is it been something that you guys have had to monitor closely, the fact that the emotions and the constant progression could eventually boil over and they sort of burn out as the year progresses? Um, Oh, I think that uh, you know Burjay's handled them really well. Um, you know that th we've had uh, weeks where we've increased their loads, the longer weeks, um, and then and then they've had a reduction in loads. So so far, the guys have still been able to play out and and play for four quarters. Um, but yeah, that's the um, uh, that's a million dollar question for every club, and that is to keep your players with really good energy and um, uh, you know their spirits up for the whole year. What's up with Jake Need? Obviously, he's had, he had last week's arrest. I guess it's much yeah. the same today. Is it? Will he be trialled in the SNFL? No, he, he, he played for um, Port played Adelaide for last night. Yeah, which was good to see him run around. Uh, yeah, he had a week's rest. Um, he'd form had uh, dropped off a little bit just before we gave him a rest. Um, so now he came back. He played for the Maggies last night, um, which was good to see him back on the field. And um, you know, he's he's. Uh, yeah, it wasn't a fantastic game for Jake, but you also see what we can get from Jake as well. And, um, so he'll, he'll be pushing for selection. Um, obviously, just another one as well, the AFL and the Asada scandal that continues yeah. to drag on over there. It seems to be getting to a climax at, as we speak. Yeah. How is, especially Angus Monfries, dealing with the constant uh, result is quite imminent? Uh, Gus is, uh, to me, he doesn't look like he's affected at all. Um, he's been really focused on, on this football club. I, I'm, I'm sure he's, uh, he's happy not to be right in the, in the mix of it. Um, and uh, we, we're all spectators, just like you guys are, uh, to what's actually going on over there. And, and we're all waiting to see what's going to happen. Who goes to Dangerfield? Who goes to Dangerfield? <laughs> um, well, obviously Kane went to him last yep. time. Um, so it could be him. Yep. Or it might be someone else. Could be a couple. Thanks yeah. for